When investigators in Taiwan looked into China's efforts to use fake social media accounts to meddle with their recent election, they found something surprising about the most successful profiles. The fake accounts that got the most engagement, got the most eyeballs, and had the most influence were often pretending to be women. It turns out that Chinese disinformation agencies were borrowing a trick that AI developers and online scammers have long known. On the internet, it pays to be female. Researchers who have studied this phenomenon say human beings are more likely to view women as warm and approachable, making it more likely that they view fake accounts as real humans. The findings demonstrate that while technology may grow more and more sophisticated, the human brain remains remarkably easy to hack, thanks to age-old stereotypes about men and women. Groups linked to the Kremlin have long used accounts pretending to be female in their effort to spread disinformation about U.S. elections, their invasion of Ukraine, or democracies around the globe. When Hollywood actress Scarlett Johansson declined OpenAI's request to use her voice on one of its newest AI programs, she said the company's CEO told her her voice would be, quote, comforting to users. She threatened to sue after the company went with voice instead that she said was eerily similar to her own. OpenAI later halted use of that voice.